Hi everyone, my name is Katie and thank you for joining me for another Animal Crossing video here on my channel. Today for the 10th day of my 12 Days of Crossmas series, we will be working on some cozy Christmassy interiors. I'm currently sitting in the room that I designed on Harv's Island for my 12 Days of Crossmas intro and I'm really inspired by this little build to work on my resident reps interiors so that's what we'll be doing today so let's get started the first room that we're going to be working on is this smaller room in the back of my first floor this is going to be a very cozy little bedroom using a lot of blue and some of my favorite items from the 2.0 update. I cannot believe that it is already almost Christmas. This month and this year has gone by so quickly and it's already been almost two months since we've had the 2.0 update in Animal Crossing, which is hard to believe. I'm really happy with all of the progress that I've made on my island and I thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey of building up my little rural Midwest town. If you've enjoyed these videos, I'd really appreciate if you press that subscribe button to follow along for more and to follow me after Crossmas is over to see what I do next. I know I'll be finishing up the rest of Mothership in this current theme, and then I have a whole nother island of Polyphia to work on. So I'm really excited for 2022 and all of the creation and gameplay that I'm going to do in Animal Crossing. And yeah, I would just love if you followed me on that journey. So in this room, I wanted it to be very cozy, um, pretty simple. I really wanted to use one of my favorite items, the party lights, and I knew that I wanted to use that beautiful ski slope wall. And I also wanted to use this new patchwork bed in the country variation. I think it is so cute and perfect for a little farmhouse in the winter. I also love using shoes to decorate, so I do that quite a few times in today's builds, and I just love it. I also included the glass jar with the yarn customization to call back to my little spinning area in the exterior of my home. If you didn't see that video yet, I'll have it linked here on the screen and in my description box below. I kept the same blue color theme of my whole island in my interiors and I just really love all of the blue customizations in this game. I think they're so pretty and so cute. I really love the new hanging rack items as well as the Nordic shelves, so I wanted to be sure to include those as well. And I'm just finishing up here by adding some more decorations to the walls. Okay, how cozy is this? I turned the lights off so that we're being lit by the windows and my party lights and my round space heater. And I think it turned out so cute and so cozy. I would definitely want to nap here, so I'm happy with it. Let's move on to the next room. 
The next room I'm designing is my living room and I really wanted this to be wintry again and have a lot of the Christmas items, the Christmas trees. And this one is very heavily inspired by what I created for my Christmas intro that I was showing at the beginning of this video. I always have a kind of hard time decorating this main room because of the doorway right in the middle. It makes a lot of the wallpapers look a little funny, including this one that I'm using. And you're basically forced to section out the room because of that doorway, which is not always what I want, like in this build, but you make do with what you have. And I still think that this came out very cute. I love the fireplaces in this game and I love those new simple sofas. So I really wanted to have a cozy little area on the left side. And then on the right side, I wanted to just have my gift area with the Christmas tree and some of my favorite toys. I also thought it would be fun to put a bike inside to show like you're storing it during winter. I really love the Moroccan footrest as well as the new simple stool and these wooden log tables that I am forgetting the name of. I really love those. They have beautiful customizations and I really want to use those throughout my build because they're very rustic and remind me of something that my grandpa would make. He makes a lot of handmade wooden furniture and he makes coffee tables that look exactly like these so they're pretty nostalgic for me too. So once I've scrolled through my whole item catalog to pull out a bunch of items that I think I want to use, I get started arranging them. On this left side, I really wanted to have a little milk and cookies area. I've said many times one of my favorite items is the new milk can and I thought this would be a really fun way to incorporate it inside even though it still doesn't really make sense but I really wanted to have this little milk and cookies area with all of these new items. I added some little plushies by the tree because that was one of my favorite gifts to get around Christmas and honestly, even though I'm 24, it still is one of my favorite gifts to get during Christmas. Another thing I struggle with in the main room is choosing a rug. I ended up just going with two smaller rugs this time, but I just tend to have a hard time selecting a rug for a room this size and this shape. I finished again by adding some decorations to the walls. I had to have some stockings and I put up my favorite painting as well as one of the wooden deer decorations customized in the distressed ivory variation. So this is how it turned out. I think it's very cozy and festive and I definitely see my inspiration from my original build. Even though I wasn't able to recreate it completely, I still like how it turned out. 
Thank you so much for watching. I know this one was a little bit different than my usual builds, but I wanted to do something a bit more chilled today where I didn't have to order a bunch of items. That always takes me so long to just sit there and time travel to order items. It can be kind of a pain, <laughs> but I'll be back again very soon with another video and we're almost done with my 12 days of Christmas and Christmas is almost here. So it's all just going by so quickly. If you like this one, please hit like down below, and if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. I hope that you have a great rest of 2021, and that you and yours stay safe and healthy and happy. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye